Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about DOM properties versus element attributes. Now, um, remember in the previous video on data binding, I talked about changing some of these element attributes. Well, and then I backed up a little bit and said these are actually DOM properties. Well, Angular Dart or um, Angular in general makes a very big deal in the documentation about the differences between the two. So the element attribute, you remember those, right? So when we have an element, we can give it some more information. So it would be something like um, uh, the uh, we have an element, let's just write it right here, input, right? So we can, that's the element. We can give it an attribute, type, value, name, ID, we can give it all sorts of values, and those are the attributes, right? So let's just say value equals submit, okay? What happens is that element attribute has the value of submit. That is unchangeable. It will be a submit, it is submit, and that's just the way it is, all right? But what you're doing is when the system reads the HTML, it actually creates, so it initial, each element initializes a DOM node. And by creating a DOM node, you can actually change these properties. So they're, they're pretty much mapped. The value of this input element becomes the DOM node for an input and a value equals submit. But you can change the value of the DOM node, but you can't change the value of an element attribute. Now, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that there are some attributes that don't have equivalent DOM properties, and there are some DOM properties that don't have equivalent element attributes. Now, unfortunately, I don't know HTML enough to really explain in further detail the big differences here. Okay, so but it makes a big uh, deal about it. So I'm just thinking in the future, we're probably gonna start running into situations where we have to keep this in mind. But for the here and now, just remember, just realize that for the vast majority of situations, we're creating changing DOM properties, not element attributes. So what if you wanted to change an element attribute? Well, this is getting a little bit messy here. Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit to make it a little bit easier to read. Um, It's really, it's easy for me to read, but it's, I, I don't like going back and forth um, with that because it, I don't like, think it makes for a very good video. So type equals, let's just change this. Type equals input type. I'm going to leave that there. If I want to have like an attribute, let's just say, um, attribute dot value equals name you can always do that as well okay so if you really want the attribute for the input element this particular input element in other words you don't want that value to ever change now why would you want to do something like that maybe i'm, I'm just guessing i'm not sure maybe you want this value whatever that actually is to, to be something and that you can always refer back to it sometime in the future. Okay, so in other words, let me see if I could just say this right here. So it would be press me, what's name? Oh, name is press me, okay. Um, let's just change this to make it easy. John Doe, so this input element has name John Doe. Maybe for some reason, if you go in there and you start changing things and you're typing things up I itself, and then maybe for some reason, you would want your web application to be able to revert back to John Doe without refreshing, and that was the easiest ways to refer back to the attribute element or attribute value, maybe, I really don't know. But just keep that concept in mind um, for the future. Maybe we won't use it anytime soon. Maybe we will. I haven't got that far yet. Okay, thanks.